I think it was a case of we didn't get started on time. Um, you know, we came out the first there and got got too far behind the eight ball. Uh, we did a good job trying to battle back, but can't start the game giving up four goals in the first. First, like, five minutes, we came out pretty good, and uh, we carried the play there for a while. And then, um, you know, for whatever reason, we kind of got away from that and then uh, started, you know, shot ourselves in the foot a few too many times. Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they, they probably picked up their pace of play a bit, um, but uh, we just started turning pucks over, and, you know, we're at our best when we're getting over the red line, getting pucks deep, and hounding the other team in the forecheck um, when we start to, you know, pull up and try to make plays at their blue line or in the neutral zone, um, you know, that's where things start to go south for us. So, um, you know, I think if we could have kept our pace of play up and, and just got pucks behind them and forechecked them, you know, it probably would have been a different outcome uh, for us tonight. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think when we're, when we're out there and um, everyone has the same mindset and everyone's on the same page, you know, we're a good team. Um, but uh, when we get away from that and, you know, things don't go well for us. So um, we just got to be on the same page, everyone, uh, knowing what's going on out there and having the same mindset um, in order to give ourselves the best chance to win games. Well, that's the story of the whole game for me is, uh, yeah, we got it to 4-3, but you can't, you can't spot teams four, first of all. We, we, were, we, were, we, we made terrible decisions with the puck, and we're not winning that way here. You're just not going to win. So, you know, we've talked lots about it. I think we've made some strides in it. Uh, tonight uh, we went backwards for sure in that, in that way. Uh, we, we forced plays we didn't need to force. Uh, we, were, we, were, we didn't execute with the puck, and ultimately we gave them a whole bunch of chances. And it's, uh, you know, we had the momentum, I'd say, early in the, early in the uh, first, we were out shooting, I think, 7 1 or something like that. And we had all the momentum, and we had a shift where we turned pucks over, and, and it was about a two minute shift. And I thought all the momentum in the game changed at that point. So if we want to win, um, we have to we have to change the way we play that way. We have to. And again, I think there's been there's been strides made, but we went backwards tonight. Yeah, I don't know if it's a product trying to play catch up or not. I don't know that. I know some of it was in the first one where you didn't have to play catch up. It doesn't really matter. You can't force things. Like in the end, you have to take what's given. That's the reality of it. Doesn't mean you can't make plays. Of course you can make plays. You make plays when you have an opportunity to make a play. You live another day when you don't, and it doesn't matter if it's if you're down uh, seven one or if you're up seven one. It's the same thing. Like you got to play the right kind of hockey. So if we want to uh, take steps as a team as we go through this second half of the, of the season, uh, we got to manage it way better than that. And, and you know we got two teams coming up that are high high octane offense teams. Um, you know again for us to win uh, both right now in the near future and in the long term, you got to you can't give away those types of uh, those types of opportunities. Yeah, again, I thought we had momentum. I thought we were we we were the better team early, and then I thought the rest of the momentum the the rest of the first was 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 all theirs. And yeah, you gotta honestly you gotta do what we did in the second. You get the pucks behind them, and you play in the ozone. I, you know, we gotta we gotta figure this out. Um, we gotta we gotta create more of the rush for sure. But it, you're not gonna do it by forcing things. And we've been a, a pretty good ozone team all year. So let's be an ozone team. Let's get it in behind them and and, and make sure we can play in the ozone. And I thought when we did that in the second. Uh, you saw it pay dividends. We had tons of shifts. We were in their end and, and tons of momentum. Uh, I don't know that that's a mentality. I think I think we're we're learning how to how to be efficient with our offense. And you know I think it's it's good that we have the a little bit more firepower. But you got to learn how to play the right way with it. You got to learn how to be efficient with it. And I think there's times where we've been that way and times where we've been uh, when we've tried to force things and, and we've tried to make a play in every situation and you just can't do that. So I think it's a, a learned process for, um, for, for you know, a, a whole group of our guys and we've got to keep getting better at it. And just the, uh, the success at home, what, what, what can you uh, pin that on? What's been one of the major factors that's helped you win at home so often and uh, even come back in games like this? Yeah, our crowd. The momentum in this building is great. It's a loud building. Um, the fans have been awesome. Um, you know, I think our crowd's been outstanding. And so, to me, that's been a huge difference between home and away. Is is we've gotten extra juice from our crowd. And it's allowed us to win some games uh, that maybe we haven't. You know, that maybe we've been a little bit sloppy. Maybe it's covered up some things. Um, but I think our crowd's been great. To me, that's been the biggest difference.